So in four hours and less than 80 bucks, I managed to replace four bookcases. One, two, three, and four. I replaced them with this. A single sturdy bookshelf. This thing can survive an earthquake. It's not going any... Hey! Dude! I'm trying to film a video here! This project begins at Home Depot where I bought four 2x10s 12 foot long. I needed eight pieces total, six foot in length, so I had the guy there cut them in half for me. When I got them home, I did need to cut them all to the exact same length and square up the ends. A quick sanding on all the edges to clean them up. Now we're ready for assembly. I'm putting marks on the two ends of the bookcase where I want to place each shelf. On these marks, I'm using a square to draw a perpendicular line across the board. The 2x10s aren't actually 2 inches thick, but rather 1 and a half. I'm drilling pilot holes 3 fourths of an inch from the line. When I put my shelf up to this line, the pilot holes will be on center for the screws to go into the shelves. I drill 3 holes for the end of each shelf. To drill the holes into the second piece, I'll square up both end pieces and use the top piece with the holes to drill through into the second board but not all the way through, just enough to make a mark. I'll repeat this with every hole. Once all the holes are marked, I'll drill each one all the way through. Now I need to draw the same lines all the way across as I did on the first board. I'm drawing the line on the inside of each piece by lining up my boards next to each other and using board number one to make an exact mark on board number two. We now use the guidelines to place each of the shelves. I'm using three and a half inch length screws. By drilling the pilot holes, the screw is gonna pull each shelf tight up against the end. This two by two will be used to secure the shelf to the wall. With assembly complete, we now lift the shelf into place. Be sure to measure the shelf spacing correctly to avoid putting a shelf across any wall outlets. So with the shelf in place, we wanna make sure that it's not gonna fall. So we're gonna find the studs and drill through the top. We're gonna to put about six or seven screws so this thing is securely fastened to the wall. Now I'm gonna use a stud finder. Normally the studs are 16 inches from the, from the end of the wall and you can measure 16. But just in case, you can always use a stud finder just to make sure that you're actually screwing into solid wood. So for less than 100 bucks, you can organize a room. But not just organize it, transform a room. Now the reason that I chose to use 2x10s is because I can span a six foot length or longer and the shelves won't sag or bend. And eventually I'll probably paint the shelf the same color as the room. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. Give it a try yourself. It's a pretty simple project. It doesn't take that long. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to Alley Picked. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.